Hello everyone, my name is Manisha Damta. I am a scientist by profession. Currently posted at ICR Research Complex for Eastern Region, Patna. <clears throat> Coming to my brief introduction, I am from Pithoragar district of Uttarakhand state, which is very much famous for its natural beauty and called Devhumi. I did my schooling from GGIC Munakot, Pithoragar. Then after I did my graduation in the year 2013 from GV Pant University of Agriculture and Technology and in the year 2015 uh, I did my masters in agrometeorology from the same university and in the same year 2015 I got an opportunity to write this exam ARS and this was the biggest achievement of my life that I qualified this exam with the very first go and that was all possible because of uh, hard work um, and the guidance provided by my teachers, seniors and the support of my batchmates, well wishes from all uh, those who are involved directly or indirectly in my preparation. So thank you all for your uh, support. Uh, now today I'll discuss with you the two most important points. First one is the career opportunity and second one is the ARS examination in the area in the area of agriculture meteorology. So uh, before that I'll briefly discuss with you uh, agriculture meteorology. So uh, students this is the science this is the applied science I must say this is the applied science where we use the principles of meteorology in relation to the agriculture and the allied sciences which will include the forestry animal husbandry fisheries all these signs it's uh, area of application so it's having the vast area of application but i'll uh, name few areas uh, like uh, crop yield forecasting where you can use uh, the modeling and uh, remote sensing techniques uh, finding out the relationship between uh, weather and uh, your crops climate and your crops uh, finding out the relation between uh, crop weather and uh, de disease and pest incidence in the field flood and uh, drought monitoring um, modification of the microclimate and the delineating the agroclimatic zones in the country, preparation of the crop weather diagram and the crop weather calendars. So these are the few areas where you can apply the science. Um, so coming to the most important point is what is the career opportunity in this field? Uh, see students this is the most uh, important I'm seeing because I know everyone is very much concerned about uh, securing his or her future by getting the job on time I know the getting job on time is very much important but at the same time uh, preparing yourself for something is also important when you when you are having the knowledge uh, the core knowledge of your subject then only you can qualify some examination and then definitely you will get the job. So what you have to do, you have to make yourself worthy to be known by the uh, persons in your surrounding. You have to uh, become a knowledge bank in yourself. So uh, I'll tell you some of the areas which are offering jobs to the agriculture meteorologists uh, students before uh, choosing uh, these jobs first analyze yourself it is a suggestion from my side first analyze yourself what is your strength uh, whether you like doing the research work you like the teaching or are you good with the consultancies and the policy framing accordingly you choose your area uh, nowadays, the government as well as the private agencies are giving uh, opportunities for the agriculture meteorologists to work with them. 
so uh, if you are interested in research work so you can become a scientist if you are interested in teaching so you can become assistant professor uh, if you are having a uh, good consultancy uh, uh, capabilities in you then you can go for the consultancy then uh, you can work with the ministry for uh, framing the policies and its implementation uh, so this you can do with your own knowledge so coming to the uh, government part There are few ministries where you can uh, find agriculture, meteorology uh, as a suitable area. First one is your uh, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Ministry of Earth Sciences, Ministry of Science and Technology, Ministry of Energy uh, Resources, their department and organizations which will provide you the opportunity to work with them are uh, I will name the one of I will name a few of, uh, few of them, like Indian Council of Agriculture Research, um, India Meteorological Department, uh, Indian Space Research Organization, National Remote Sensing Centers, Space Application Centers, Department of Science and Technology, uh, uh, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting, Food and Agriculture Organization state agricultural uh, departments or the state meteorological uh, departments uh, these are the areas uh, these are the fields or the uh, not the fields exactly these are the uh, departments and the organizations uh, which are giving you opportunity to work as a researcher with them okay uh, so coming to the uh, teaching point of view uh, you can uh, give us uh, services to the deemed uh, universities, uh, SAUs, and the central universities as assistant uh, professor. Um, uh, now coming to the private part, the private companies uh, and the NGOs, your uh, weather forecasting companies nowadays are providing jobs uh, to the agriculture meteorologist uh, as a consultant, where your service would be to give the to give some suggestions to these companies regarding uh, uh, crop insurance and uh, uh, weather forecasting okay so and next uh, next one is uh, by the international uh, organizations where they uh, provide opportunity for the student to work as a crop modeler to develop some kind of uh, tools or models uh, for uh, high reels okay uh, and uh, you can work as a subject matter specialist in the Krishi Vigyan Kendras so this one is also an area where you can uh, work uh, and uh, nowadays uh, you can also uh, work uh, with the um, you can associate yourself with the scientists those are working uh, with some projects to improve your knowledge and to gain the experience in that field okay uh, the next one is uh, uh, you can also get the opportunities uh, to work with, the, with those companies who are preparing the instruments instruments uh, in the agricultural meteorology uh, <clears throat> So, uh, students, this was all about uh, career opportunities uh, in the agriculture meteorology. So, so I think uh, you have seen till now that uh, you are having number of areas where you can work with this subject. Uh, now, coming uh, to the preparation of uh, ARS, the second most important point of today's discussion. Um, uh, ARS is uh, Agricultural Research Services, the most prestigious uh, job in the area of agriculture and it was my uh, fortune to uh, work with this uh, area um, to give my services to the society uh, as a scientist uh, so I'll tell you uh, one by one 
uh, ARS uh, examination is having three stages preliminary, mains, and uh, interview. Uh, for preparation of this examination uh, with this uh, discipline, uh, I will uh, name uh, units which are being covered uh, under this subject. Okay, so uh, this. Uh, uh, this discipline is covered under three uh, under seven units. Uh, first one is your journal meteorology. Then next one is your general climatology, agricultural climatology, micro meteorology, evapotranspiration, crop weather modeling, and uh, weather forecasting for the agriculture. In totality, we are having the seven uh, units. We have to cover the course. Uh, you won't get much time to prepare for it. It depends on your fortune whether uh, you are getting uh, the one year, six months, or uh, eight months, ten months to prepare for this examination. So work hard. Um, next is the eligibility. This was the course content. Before uh, 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 going to the books to be preferred, I will tell you that. Uh, uh, for preparing any of the examination, three things are very much important. First is your, uh, uh, what is the eligibility criteria? Second one is, uh, what is the course content? And third one is, uh, what uh, what are the uh, resources, means the books, uh, from where you will read, you will prepare your notes. Okay, so first one I have covered so far. Next one is your eligibility. So as per the... Uh, as a guidance, uh, master's degree in agricultural meteorology or agricultural physics with this specialization in agricultural meteorology, the person who is having this uh, education qualification is eligible for writing this examination. Okay, uh, so coming to the books. Uh, there are a number of books to be prepared because you are having the seven units. Uh, uh, I will uh, tell you uh, books, those are very much important. I, I, I personally uh, referred those books. Uh, the first one, the uh, first one was the Prasada Rao, Agriculture Meteorology by Prasada Rao, uh, Textbook of Agriculture Meteorology by Varshneya and Pillai. Uh, <clears throat> introduction to Agrometeorology by H.S. Mavi. Uh, fundamentals of uh, agrometeorology by uh, G.S. Mavi and P.K. Kingra, agrometeorology by S.R. Reddy and D.S. Reddy, uh, um, microclimate, the biological environment by uh, Rosenberg, uh, for uh, general climatology, Chris Field, uh, climatology you can uh, prepare from uh, D.S. Lal. Uh, so these these were my favorite books from uh, which I prepared my ARS examination. So this book, uh, Varshneya and Pillai, uh, Varshneya and Pillai, Prasada Rao, these two books uh, along with uh, yeah two more books those are important. Uh, <clears throat> SR Gardekers two volumes uh, for meteorology. These two three books are sufficient for uh, your uh, first unit and uh, your uh, fifth unit uh, and even your uh, sixth unit and your for climate uh, for climatology unit you you can refer to Chris Field or D S Lal. D S Lal is very much good. Crisfield, uh, you can also prepare uh, from that uh, book. Mm, that Rosenberg book, uh, 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 you need not to go in detail for that book. Only few chapters you can prepare. Uh, and uh, Prashada Rao, yes, this, this, this book is very much important, uh, easy to understand. H.S. Mavi. H.S. Mavi, you go word by word for agricultural meteorology. 
you will find the questions in preliminaries and in the mains objective part one means line by line from this book so this book is very much important uh, prepare in detail so uh, these were the important books uh, to be used for the ARS preparation in agriculture meteorology uh, apart from the books you have to refer uh, internet internet is a very powerful tool seriously it, it, it's it's a very powerful tool uh, because uh, few of the areas in agriculture meteorology you won't find uh, those topics in book like uh, what is uh, new happening in uh, agriculture meteorology field uh, you have to uh, up upgrade your knowledge uh, with the ipcc's report and uh, El Nino, La Nina and their uh, impact on Indian agriculture <clears throat> and a few other topics if you will go in detail into this in the course content you will find that uh, those topics uh, are not present in the book so you have to prepare from internet only uh, so these are the number of books now coming to the strategy how you have to uh, qualify this examination okay a strategy is very much important when you when you decide when you uh, when you determine yourself to compete and to succeed in an exam see friends uh, in in the year 2015 when when i appeared for this examination there was only one seat so my goal was one seat that uh, so jab bhi aap prepare karte ho aapko kuch points the mind ko clear karke chalna padta hai every time when you prepare for any uh, prestigious examination uh, you will find ke kuch samay baad aap haar bhi maan jate ho lagta hai ki it's not possible but itna tough nahi hai aap easily clear kar sakte ho uh, kuch cheeze aapko clear karni padengi कि आपकी स्ट्रैटेजी क्या होनी चाहिए क्या पढ़ना है क्या नहीं पढ़ना है क्या पढ़ना है वो मैंने आपको बता दिया है आपकी स्ट्रैटेजी क्या होनी चाहिए दैट दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन पर्सन मेरी स्ट्रैटेजी जो थी वो मैं आपको बता सकती हूँ आप उसके अकॉर्डिंगली प्रिपेयर कर सकते हैं बट मेन जो मेन आपका स्ट्रैटेजी रहेगी वो आपकी स्ट्रेंथ्स के बेसिस पर होगी कि आप कितनी देर पढ़ सकते हैं आप कितना ग्रैप कर लेते हैं और आप कितना लिख लेते हैं आप कितने फास्ट राइटर हैं आप कितना सही लिख लेते हैं आप कितना रिकॉल कर लेते हैं सो so, ये पर्सन टू पर्सन डिफर करता है आ, आ, कभी भी किसी एग्जाम के आप केवल प्रीलिम्स के बारे में मत सोचिए आप फाइनल गोल बना के चलिए आप इन डिटेल स्टडी करिए व्हेन यू विल स्टडी इन डिटेल ओके वे आर हैविंग इन डेप्स नॉलेज ऑफ योर सब्जेक्ट देन दिस दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव्स विल बी इन योर टेप्स ओके सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू यू रिफर दोज बुक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू you refer to those books and uh, uh, try to prepare your own notes means uh, like uh, this line is very much important so what could be asked in the short question form what could be asked in the long question form means like five question five, five, five marks question and your 10 marks question so accordingly you uh, jot down the no notes from the books and you prepare your own uh, notes प्रीलिम्स के लिए आप बुक्स अच्छे से रीड कर लीजिए अपने नोट्स अच्छे से रीड कर लीजिए दैट मच इज सफिशियंट यू विल डेफिनेटली क्वालिफाई और द प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज नॉट नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट नाउ द डिफिकल्ट पोर्शन इज योर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन वे यू आर हैविंग ओनली द थ्री आर्स टाइम एंड यू हैव टू राइट फोर्टी एम सी क्यूज एंड ट्वेंटी योर फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड रेस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर higher marks so prepare your strategy time management time management is very much important uh, 
like uh, prepare yourself when when you are preparing even means before the examination hall when you are preparing uh, tell your mind that you are having only 3 hours time so accordingly you have to write you have to recall and you have to boost up yourself with every second with every passing second so mm, uh like uh, you can uh, you can uh, give the answers for uh, um, mcqs within within 15 minutes and uh, one uh, one and one, uh, one and half hour for uh, five marks question and rest of the time for uh, your higher marks question so what you have to do first in, in your first go you uh, just uh, answer those questions uh, for, for which you are very much sure Uh, uh starting from the mcqs and then it, it is my personal suggestion don't go for the five mark question you attend the higher marks question because that takes time that takes time you have to write full a4 sheet both sides so in the start your mind is full of energy your mind is having number of ideas and uh, so you can write as much as you can so attempt the high marks question first and then your fast five marks question at the last so what aisa karne se kya hoga ki aapke paas time bachega aapke paas ek aur round hoga aap jab 15 20 minutes save kar lete hain aapke paas ek aur round hota hai aapke starting se end tak dekhne ke liye ki kya baj gaya hai kya aapko answer karna hai तो जब भी आप प्रिपेयर करते हो तो उसका एप्लीकेशन पार्ट को भी ध्यान में रखते हुए प्रिपेयर करें क्योंकि जो आपके हायर मार्क्स के क्वेश्चंस होते हैं उसमें दो पार्ट्स में क्वेश्चंस होते हैं जनरली आपका पहले किसी भी सब्जेक्ट की जिस्ट पूछी जाती है और उससे रिलेटेड उसका एप्लीकेशन पूछा जाता है सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर सो दिस वॉज माई स्ट्रैटेजी सो बूस्ट योर सेल्फ फॉर द मीन्स and write as much as you can without without being in fear ke agla banda kaisa likh raha hai kya likh raha hai doesn't matter it is all your skills with which you have prepared and uh, uh, how much you are confident so write it down with a full confidence and uh, definitely you will uh, succeed aur uh, uske uh, baad part aata hai interview ka जिसमें वेटेज आपका बहुत कम होता है क्योंकि टोटल जो आपका एग्जामिनेशन है दैट इज फॉर 300 मार्क्स एंड 240 इज फॉर रिटर्न एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द 60 मार्क्स इज फॉर योर इंटरव्यू सो इंटरव्यू इज नॉट इन योर हैंड एग्जामिनर कैन आस्क यू एनीथिंग इफ इट इज योर गुड डे एंड देन यू कैन आंसर द ऑलमोस्ट एवरी क्वेश्चन इफ नॉट सो यू विल फील लिटिल बैड कि मैं ये आंसर नहीं कर पाई या नहीं कर पाया सो so, uh, उस चीज को एलिमिनेट करने के लिए आप मेन्स में हाई स्कोर करिए सो दिस वॉज ऑल माई स्ट्रैटेजी एंड आई क्वालिफाइड दिस एग्जाम सो दैट वॉज द बिगेस्ट अचीवमेंट फॉर मी अगर आप भी इस तरीके से प्रिपेयर करते हैं आई होप कि आप भी क्वालिफाई कर सकते हैं एक और इम्पॉर्टेंट बात कि जब भी आप मेन्स uh, में जाने से पहले वट यू हैव टू डू यू गो फॉर सम मॉक एग्जाम्स वेन यू गो फॉर द मॉक एग्जाम्स इट बिल्ड्स यूर हैबिट टू राइट इट डाउन within the short period of time to be uh, you have to be true to yourself because uh, jab aap khud se achieve nahi karoge for the time management tab aap examination hall mein acha prepare kar sakte ho means uh, sorry to say tab aap ja kar ke examination hall mein sahi prepare karoge aapki jo speed mock test ke time par hogi wahi wahan par aapki speed hoti hai when you will give your first mock देन आपको लगेगा कि आप अंडर परफॉर्म कर रहे हो आप डेफिनेटली अंडर परफॉर्म करोगे बट नीड नॉट टू बी वॉरीड फॉर दैट दैट इज जस्ट द फर्स्ट स्टेप आप जितने हो सकते हैं उतने मॉक एग्जाम दीजिए यू आस्क योर सीनियर्स यू आस्क योर टीचर्स यू आस्क योर कलीग टू हेल्प योर सेल्फ यू आस्क योर सीनियर्स दस हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन द एग्जामिनेशन टू हेल्प यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन दे विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू आउट आई गेस एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स के उसके फील्ड में कोई भी आए प्रिपेयर करे अच्छा एक्सेल करे ये हर किसी की विश होती है सो द सेम इज माइंड 
आई होप के जो स्टूडेंट्स एग्रीकल्चर मेथोलॉजी में स्टडी कर रहे हैं uh, उनके लिए ये uh, वीडियो काफ़ी हेल्पफुल होगा एट द लास्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक डॉक्टर विपिन कुमार फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी कि मैं लोगों को स्टूडेंट्स uh, को इस सब्जेक्ट के बारे में इन्फॉर्म कर पाई सो दिस वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ क्वेरीज सो यू कैन कमेंट सो वी विल ट्राई टू आंसर योर क्वेरीज थैंक यू व्यूवर्स थैंक यू सो